A worker at Circus Baby's Pizza World attempts to reset the power when Funtime Freddy makes his presence known. Where did he go? Yo, want to see something cool? A night guard at the FNAF 1 location discovers the recording of Phone Guy's death, the climax of the first game. Well, it all started from a voicemail I got from the previous employee here. Hey, um, if you can, can you do me a quick favor and, um, check those spare suits in the, in the back room? I've heard some other employees talk about it and, and it's stench. If you can, I'm trying to figure out what's causing the smell. Jesus, no way of telling what that was. Curious, he decides that near the end of his shift, he'll record himself investigating the back rooms that Phone Guy mentioned to see if anything is there. Hmm, usually the animatronics would be more active. He approaches the dining room, but everything seems to be in order. Where's Bonnie? Where's Chica? However, when he finally gets the door open. Here we are. Smell! Jesus. Well, here's a suit. It's, it, it smells like shit. There doesn't seem to be anything inside. My main question is, why is it so bloody? He finds a VHS tape in Freddy's mouth when suddenly... You want a piece of me? Huh? Well, come and get me! I ain't scared of you damn bastards! Come on! Get me! Let me ask you a question. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh god. I gotta get out of Having asked Bonnie a question that left him stunned, the guard flees from the room, attempting to exit the pizzeria. The hell is that? Oh, Jesus Christ! See these puppies and kittens? You should subscribe to Theft King, or else you're a bad person. The Dark Lord K has been making FNAF animations on YouTube for years. They've done SFM gags. Hi, I am Freddy but Fat. So, you finally arrived. What the hell are you wearing? It's my ass kicking outfit, bitch! They've done Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria commercials and they've done terrifying found footage style VHS tapes. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, a magical place for kids and grown ups alike where fantasy and fun come to life. Come along and jam out with Freddy Fazbear's band, featuring Bonnie the Bunny and Chica the Chicken, or sail the high seas on an expedition for treasure with Foxy the Pirate. The following tape was purchased at a neighborhood garage sale before being turned over to the FBI to investigate. After a long night, Jack and Joseph, two security guards at the FNAF 2 location, finish repairing Mangle, who had been ripped to shreds by the attendees of the birthday earlier that evening. God damn it, this Kids will never learn to keep their own hands to themselves. Apparently, Mangle is the only animatronic that's enabled to walk around the facility by itself, making them very popular amongst the kids. As for the other animatronics, well... We see a Foxy repair tape. Apparently, the animatronic has been acting up lately and needs some work. In particular, they emphasize remembering to set the animatronic into maintenance mode before work begins, but things take a predictably FNAF VHS turn. Take Foxy's right arm and detach his... While Mangle hasn't actually done anything strange yet, Jack remarks that while he was working on the animatronic, things felt strange. When I started working, I just got goosebumps all over my back. It almost felt like something didn't want me there. Something like that. From a boxy? Are you seriously scared of me? No, no, man. I, mean, I don't know, but something doesn't feel right with her. I mean, 
Concerned for his friend's well-being, Joseph takes over for the rest of Jack's shift, calling his boss, William Afton, the man behind the slaughter, to let him know. You should probably call the boss and let him know that I'm working tonight. Hello? Hey, boss, it's me, Joseph. Uh, just, just calling to let you know that I'm taking Jack's place for tonight. Now alone at the pizzeria, out of curiosity, Joseph goes to check on Mangle when... Hello, who's there? Joseph hears a static noise behind him, but he doesn't seem to find anything out of the ordinary. Little does Joseph know, these animatronics have been acting up for quite some time. We see the Bonnie maintenance video, and it goes pretty similarly to Foxy's. While the tape starts off normal, things quickly begin to get very, very creepy. I'm stuck and I can't move. I haven't been able to move for a few years now. I'm the only song in Ankara. And if you're lucky enough, the band will even ask Foxy to join them. Just cheer along with the band. While you're enjoying the band, enjoy our signature and tasty pepperoni pizza with fresh dough and all natural ingredients. Having just checked on Mangle and believing everything to be in order, our brave security guard Joseph heads back to the office and eats a sandwich. Maybe it's my hunger that's making me delusional. Ah, delicious. Let's check on those cameras again. Stage, looking around. Box for the next thing. Let's see in However, when he goes to check on the Kids Cove security camera, he sees that Mangle is now standing. Let's go to see if there's anything new. <laughs> what the f That doesn't make any sense. They just checked on Mangle and they were very obviously deactivated. Panicking, Joseph calls his co worker Jeremy. Hello, this is Jeremy. Oh, thank God you answered. You remember that one? You remember that that one Fox animatronic we had to repair a while a while while ago? Yeah. What's going on? I'm looking at the cameras right now, and she's standing up on her own. The animatronic happens to be standing in the worst possible place. What do you expect me to do? Leave the place? That f***ing Fox is right next to the exit. Maybe she. Maybe she turned on by herself? Turns on herself, my ass! I checked her a few minutes ago, and her power supply is toggled off! I even made sure that she was unplugged from the outlet. Bewildered as to how Mangle could have self-activated, Jack delivers a suggestion that is, in my opinion, the best line in the episode. Maybe someone broke in this messing with you? What kind of sick f would do that? Well, I have no f***ing clue, dude! As the two talk, the camera goes out when... Jeremy prepares to head to the pizzeria, insisting Just keep that f***ing camera on here, do you understand? A callback to FNAF 2's gameplay mechanics. I'm on my way now. I'll see you in a few hours. Don't, don't leave me! Jeremy! Help me, Jeremy! foods such as our french fries, chicken nuggets, and a large refreshing soda. Also for your kid's birthday party, they can visit the prize corner and receive a free prize as a gift from Fazbear Entertainment. To make a reservation at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, 
call 1-800-FAZBEAR today and we will be glad to let your kids have lots of fun during their happiest day of the year. That's 1-800-FAZBEAR. Call today. Hours after Joseph's gruesome fate at the hands of Mangle, Jeremy arrives at the pizzeria. An ambulance unit was sent to the Freddy Jr.'s location where they found Jeremy Thornton collapsed on the floor, overwhelmed at the sight of Joseph's lifeless body. Shortly after that, the Jr.'s location would close its doors. Authorities blamed the attack on an unknown assailant who was somehow able to hack the animatronics and remotely command them to kill. Finally, we get to witness Phone Guy's death from FNAF 1 from Phone Guy's perspective. Hello, hello! Uh, hey, uh, wow, day four, nice. I, I knew you could do it. Hey, uh, listen, I, I may not be around to send you a message tomorrow. It's, uh, fuck. It, it's been a bad night here for me. Uh, I'm kind of glad that I recorded my messages for you when I did. Uh, hey, listen, if you had, I don't know, maybe sometime if you could check inside those suits, you know, in the back room, uh, I've been trying to hold out until someone checks, you know. Uh, I, I always wondered what was that in the head back there. Okay. Get away from me! No! Shut up. You shut up. That's why your shoes are raggedy. That's why Johnny's dead. It, it smells like shit! 